Freak React version 2.2 has just released and it brings one of the most requested features that I've ever gotten. And that is the ability to create profiles for specific sections in tracks. Okay, so what does that mean? To explain, it's important to know that before this update, when you would go to create a profile in Freak React, it would only allow you to bake the entire duration of the track. It doesn't matter if you're only using a section between 25 seconds and 35 seconds, you gotta bake everything. It's not ideal. With version 2.2, you can now create profiles just for specific sections. So let's see that in action. I've got some music here, it's just some cliche house music. And I've already created two profiles, one for the kick and one for the snare. And if I come down here and view the waveform, you can see that right around here, this is where my profiles start. And this is basically where the beat drops. So if I come in and view the keyframes, this is all the data that goes on behind the scenes that Freak React creates and you never have to touch, but you can see that it starts right when the beat starts and we can see what it does. Pretty cool, okay? But now we've got all of this, hang on a second, audio waveform. We've got all this buildup with nothing happening and let's give that a listen. Okay, so let's create a profile for just the buildup. And in order to do that, we have to bring our out point to just before the beat drops. So as you can see right here, this is where the first kick hits. And we can actually zoom in and make this a little easier. Just come here, boom, chop it. So with 2.2, Freak React will create profiles for however you have your in and out points set, okay? So if I come up here, create a profile, let's call it build up, hit create. You can see that the play bar only shows from zero to 15 seconds. And if, if I hit play, that's it, right before the beat drops, okay? So for this profile, I'm trying to just capture the overall energy of the buildup. So I'm gonna make this very large, okay? That way, this section is kind of just building as the build builds and it will give a steady kind of incline into the beat drop. I think it's gonna look okay, let's give it a shot. So as you can see, we now have a new section of keyframes just for this area. So let's use this and create some reactors. These are all the reactors that I have for the beat part. They already exist, they're already tweaked, ready to go. And I think for this, I'm gonna do first one on the circuitry time remap. So it's just gonna be the speed at which we're flying into these circuit boards. And I'll do a pulse and I will make it additive. I'll give it 40 decay, and I'm gonna make it really, really smooth. Oh, and obviously the X intensity. Something low like two should probably look good. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's very subtle. All it's doing is adding a little bit of speed to the circuit board, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing for the box time remap. Come down here, select it, add a reactor pulse. I'm just gonna speed through this. I think it'll be one. Again, come in, make it additive, add some decay, and make it as smooth as possible. And now the box should move slightly quicker. Perfect, okay. Now we're gonna do something a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna come up to the flash opacity, select that, and I'm gonna add a flicker reactor, which is gonna give a strobe light effect as we build. And I'll do something like 220, come down here, let's see. Speed, I'm gonna lower the speed a little bit. And actually, let's just try that. Okay, that's pretty cool. It feels like a strobe light that is in time with the snare drum riser, the 
but we didn't actually have to react to that snare drum, you know, cut corners when you, when you can, when it makes sense. Okay. So finally, I'm going to close this down and I'm going to check out the camera position here. And what I want to do is bring us back to the beginning and zoom out. Okay. So we're starting the scene from far away. And if I was a normal person, I could just turn on keyframes, come in here, go in and then, you know, zoom in so that as we build, it's, it's getting closer, but I'm the dude who made freak react and I want to use it, um, whenever I can. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit react. I'm going to add a pulse reactor. And before anything, I'm going to make it additive and uh, I don't think we want any decay. Now I'm going to go to where the beat actually drops, which is right around here. And I'm going to increase the Z intensity until it gets to where I want it to be. Hold down control to um, give you fine tuning here. That looks pretty good. Let's preview it. Okay, so that's pretty cool for not having placed a single keyframe. Now, what if I want to change the way a profile is set up? What if I want to change where its in points and out points are once it's already baked? So for this example, it builds and then there's a section where it drops out. So for this section, I want the reacting to stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layer back to let's zoom in right before when it drops perfect and now all i have to do is i come up to my profile and i hold down alt or whatever that key is called on mac i don't know why they have to be so difficult just call it alt um, but you hold that down and you double click and it will now inherit the time section that you just set. So you can see at the end here. Done. All I have to do now is hit bake. Got it. Bake again. And it just cut it out. So if we watch this again. Perfect. It stops right here. The only tweak we're going to have to make is to come back up and change our camera position so that it actually lines up with where we want it to be. So I'm going to have to increase this some more. Perfect. And if I hit play, looks good to me. So that's version 2.2. It is out now. And as with all my updates, it is completely free if you purchase Freak React at any point in the last five years. So go download it. Link is in the description. Have fun reacting.